Hey guys, it's Zany May, and as promised, here is my Sunday video, which is the April Bullet Journal. This bullet journal theme today is going to be shopping. So the first step of shopping is, of course, the shopping list. So that is what my calendar is going to be. There are 30 days in April, which is a total of five weeks, so it's a five by seven grid for this month. And now I'm just going to color in some green. It doesn't exactly look like a list because it doesn't have anything written in it, but it's supposed to represent sort of like a pad of paper. Now I'm just going to add some doodads around it to kind of show that I really have no food left and I really do need to go shopping. I mean only have one apple that already has a bite out of it, that's no good. I mean, don't waste food, please eat the apple. But I mean, if you only have one apple left, right? There's some notes, and now, you know, all I got is a banana peel. There ain't even a banana in it anymore. Can't eat that, so I better go shopping to get a banana, cause bananas are necessary. And now the last cookie. You know I can't live without cookies, so this is the biggest issue really is this cookie being the last one. Just adding a couple swirlies to fill some space. And now we're moving on to my mood tracker. And this, of course, going with the theme, is going to be a road to get to the grocery store. Because after you have the list for the groceries, it's no good if you're not at the grocery store. So each little segment of the road, the uh, road divider, yellow little square things, whatever they're called, will be a single day. And that's what I will be using to fill in my moods. Here I put in my mood colors. Again, I have 12 different colors if you want more in-depth explanation as to what I do in the mood tracker. Go back to my first video, link will be in the description. Anyways, I'll name off the 12 moods again. I have anxious, and then I have depressed, happy, thoughtful, sad, tired, inspired, nervous, upset, stressed, normal, and absent-minded. I'm feeling some grass around this road real quick. Now I'm going to add some bushes just to add a little bit of contrast to everything else. I'm going to put the mood tracker name just in the same color. I'm going to kind of give some stems coming out of the bottom to try and kind of add more of a bush vibe to it kind of make like the words into a bush but it it yeah I don't know I was trying and then I'm gonna add my note section which will just be kind of like a bush that's not filled in just naming out numbering off the days now 1 through 30 again that's how many days that are in April Now, moving on to the habit tracker. After you make it to the grocery store, you need to pick up your groceries. So, my habit tracker is going to be a shopping cart. Because the side of a shopping cart represents a grid, and that's what I use for my habit tracker. So, worked out well for me. Now I have 10, I have music, I play with my dog, washing dishes, doing art, making my bed, cooking, eating healthy, working out, drinking water, and reading my Bible. Those are my 10 habits. You can do any 10 habits that you want. And again, numbering off the days, 30. Here I'm going to add some random apples just to fill in a little bit of space and to make it seem more like I am at a store. 
I'm going to use two different colors to fill in the background. I'm going to use one to make it kind of look like there's a floor, and then the majority of it will then be like a wall slash ceiling. And I'm going to put some posters because, you know, every store has tons of advertising. So don't forget to head to your store and get 10% on an apple today because I seem to really like drawing apples in this bullet journal. Next, we have our ponder page and our resolved page. Again, if you want more in-depth descriptions on what I do in each of my pages, then go to my other one. But this is basically uh, just keeping track of my thoughts and how well problems in my that month that I have in my life are being resolved. So I put down the problems on the left side on the ponder page, and then the right side becomes the resolved page. And I will just put a corresponding color to show how well that thing is resolved. I have a fridge here, and on the left side I had a grocery bag, because you know, the next step is always bringing the groceries home and putting them in the fridge. And more apples, because I seem to really like apples. I'm creating the six colors on top, going from yellow, orange, red, purple, blue, and then green. And now I'm doing my Doodle Your Heart page, which is just going to be two cookies, because you know, you always got to enjoy the cookies after you finish buying them. Doodle Your Heart page is just where I doodle just random thoughts and feelings that I feel like drawing at that moment, so it's just kind of a de-stressor page. hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos, please subscribe to my channel, leave a like, and leave a comment. I will most likely see it. Thank you for watching!